Before we start into the actual modeling of lithology, let's take a look at some downhole lithology data. Click on the lithology tab for any borehole. We can't make a model based on words like mudstone, but we can make a model based on numbers. Click on the lithology types option. This is the lithology types table that we introduced within a previous exercise. The G values are what we're actually modeling, not the associated keywords. Understanding this concept is fundamental to effectively using the lithological modeling tools. With this background in mind, let's create a lithology model by selecting the Lithology Model option. Select and expand the Create New Model option. Name the new model Lithology1.rwmod. Please note, this model is not a diagram, but rather a numerical array of numbers based on the G values that will represent the interpolated 3D lithology. The method used to interpolate these G values is determined by clicking on the Modeling Options button. Select the Lateral Blending option. Turn off the additional options except for the Superface and Subface filters. Be sure to set the Automatic option for both filters. These filters will prevent the model from interpolating values above the ground surface and below an imaginary surface based on the lowest points within the boreholes. Close the Modeling Options menu and make sure that the limiting options are turned off. Turn on and expand the Create Three-Dimensional Diagram options. Turn off the Plot Faults and Plot Logs options and turn on the Reference Cage, Include Lithology Legend, and Include Volumetrics options. Click the Process button. Once the modeling has been completed and the diagram appears, minimize the main menu by clicking on the minus icon. Do the same for the Rules and Filters pane. Expand the Lithology Model Volumetrics item within the Rockplot 3D data tree. You will now see a list that shows the volume and mass of each lithotype within the newly interpolated lithologic block model. The mass computations are calculated by multiplying the volumes by the density conversion factors within the lithology types table. Increase the size of the diagram by clicking on the up arrow at the top of the screen. Double click on the lithology model object within the Rockplot 3D data tree. Among other things, this dialog allows us to only show the portions of the block model within a specified G value range. To demonstrate this, turn on the filter option and set the low value to 4 and the high value to 5. Press the Apply button. Two things to note. Number one is that the volume has changed from 11.2 million to 2.6 million cubic meters. Number two is that the diagram is only showing the voxels or blocks that have a G value between 4 and 5. According to our lithology types table, that would translate to clay and sand. Finally, let's save this diagram by clicking on the Rockplot 3D file Save option. Name the diagram Lithology Model. A final note, during this exercise, we generated two files. 
the lithology1.rw mod file, which is just an array of numbers representing the interpolated G values for each voxel within the block model. The lithology model.rw 3D file, which is a rock plot 3D diagram that depicts the contents of the lithology1.rw mod file.